everyone. Welcome to Living Room Theater. It's me, Kesa, and I am so excited to make some theater with you today. So today we are going to play a game that can either serve as a warm-up, maybe this is a video that you play um, when you're getting ready to go to rehearsal, or it can also serve as just a standalone game. So if you are someone who just wants to play some theater games in their living room, you've also come to the right place. No matter how you are using this video today, this is a game that can be played by yourself or with a friend. So let's dive right in. The warm up or game that we're doing today is a word association game. In the past, I've called it rapid fire, but it comes by many different names. The goal of this game is to get you warmed up and ready to react. Acting is all about reacting, just hearing what your scene partner is giving to you and giving them a response that's genuine and authentic. So this game uses some improv skills to really get that reaction all warmed up. Remember when you're playing this that there are no wrong answers. All you have to do is think quickly and respond even faster. So we're going to play three different rounds of this word association game and how this is going to work is I'm going to begin by giving you one random word. It could be anything, absolutely any word you've ever heard of before. And then you, without thinking too much, are just going to respond with the first word that comes to your mind in association with the last word that I said. That's why it's a word association game. So if I said the word lampshade, whatever you're thinking of, the first thing that comes to your head, it, maybe it's light bulb, or maybe it's something like puzzle piece. It really doesn't have to make a lot of sense. Just try to be true to the reaction that you're having in your mind. After you say your word, I'm going to respond with another word, and each round is going to have 10 different random words that you want to react to as quickly as is humanly possible. With each round, I'm going to give you a smaller and smaller amount of time to respond to my one word prompt, so it's going to start to get a little faster and a little bit harder, so get ready. Actually, before we start with round one, let's take three deep breaths in together because believe it or not, breathing is actually a really important way to warm up for theater. So whether you're sitting or standing, you can do this with me. So we're going to take our arms and take a deep breath in and bring your arms to the very top and exhale, bring them down. Second one. And last one. And bring it down. <laughs> awesome, great job. All right, so let's begin with round one. Remember, all you have to do is respond to each word that I send at you with the first word that comes to your head. If you mess up and can't think of one or can't respond in time, that's okay. Just move on and keep going. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. Garden. Clown. Warm. Saturn, elephant, birthday, worms, castle, juice, bed. Awesome, how did you do? Great, we're gonna move right on into round two and it's gonna start picking up the pace a little bit. So remember, just re react with the first word that comes to your brain. It doesn't have to make any sense. All you have to do is get a word out. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. Garfield. Captain. Elsa. Princess. Robot. Chores, superhero, chipmunk, soup, alphabet. Awesome. Are you getting the hang of it now? Let's move on to our speed round, round three. We're going to be going as fast as is humanly possible. I'm really not going to give you a lot of time in between the prompts that I give you. So get ready, get set. And go! Sunrise, curtsy, marathon, staircase, Halloween, truck, camping, orange, sheep, star. Awesome, 
great job. You survived all three rounds. So if you feel all warmed up and ready to go, have fun at rehearsal, break a leg. I'm sure you're going to absolutely rock it. But if you'd like to play a little bit more and you have a friend around that you can grab or someone that you can call or video chat, there is another way that you can play this game. This game can really easily be turned into a multiplayer word association game where you or a group of your friends plays together in real time, each person reacting to the other person's word. So what you can do is send this video to a friend, ask them to play with you, and then you can start the word association because you've already gone through all of the rounds by saying one random word, it could be absolutely anything. Then they are going to respond with the first word that comes to their head based on what you said. And then you are going to respond with the first word that comes to your head based on what they said. One thing that's really great to think about when you're playing it this way is to forget about all of the other words that have been said in the round and instead just respond to the last word that your partner gave you. That way you're reacting in the most honest, authentic, and hopefully quickest way you possibly can. I'll give you a little example of how this could work. Breakfast, fork, knife, cut, grass, tree, owl, bear, angry, angry. Okay, the one other rule of this game is you cannot respond with the exact same word that your partner just gave to you. That would be way too easy. Awesome, so now you know how to play the multiplayer version of this game and the single player version of this game. Again, I think this could be a really fun one if you wanna send this video to one of your friends, hop on video chat and play even during quarantine before we can see each other again. I hope that you had a lot of fun today. I absolutely did. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And finally, from my living room to yours, let's make some theater.